November 2013, Nigeria's electricity supply industry was partially privatized. And there are key reasons that it was privatized, which include to increase generation of um, revenue, to improve efficiency and management, to attract key private investment, and also to improve the quality and also the, and make um, electricity cost efficient. Uh, this is Development Issues and my name is Zainab Sani and this month we are taking a look at how far it has, this, the sector has fared since it was privatized in 2013. This is an important conversation when we look at how there have been recent complaints about erratic power supply or people are even saying that there have been, the erratic power supply has worsened since uh, for a while now. Then there have also been serious complaints about increased billings. What exactly are the issues? So, and like I mentioned earlier, has privatization really worked for electricity sector in Nigeria? Joining me to have this important conversation is Mr. Akakim Bodun Shedrak. He is the principal partner, Utilities Consumers Rights Advocacy Initiative of Nigeria. And he also worked in the electricity, electricity sector since the, the 90s. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on the program. So, um, electricity, you know, power supply and power generation in Nigeria. You've been in this sector for quite a while. First, as a staff of um, NEPA, that's the National Electricity Power Authority, then the Power Holding Company of Nigeria, PHCN, and even the DISCO, IBDC, the Bad Electricity Distribution Company. Uh, the privatization was done in 2013. What was it like, you know, when you, what, what, what was the f general feeling when you realized or when staff of IBDC realized that it had been privatized? What was the expectation like? <coughs> Thank you. You see, before privatization, you know, it was PCN. Yeah. Okay. I, um, let me be sincere with you. It was the union and the government that were doing all sorts of agreements in that of pay severance allowance to workers and all that stuff and you know because government insisted on i mean on privatizing this sector the union went against it mm -hmm. but nevertheless you know for i mean the sector belongs to government so and they need they wanted to do it then and they did it mm -hmm. but let me be sincere with you um the staff were not feeling it and were not feeling fine with it but since they have been since the appointment I mean, has been terminated and they have been paid several allowance, so definitely they have no option that to leave. Mm, mm. You understand? And but you, but you, you did not leave at that time. You no, still no, worked no, with no. Uh, the school for about four years. I about four years before I quit. Mm. But the feeling was not that okay. Mm. You know, the populace were saying it should be privatized because, let me be sincere, the government deceived Nigeria that after privatization, uh, power sector or whatever energy sector we everything will improve mm -hmm. but this is not like the case this is as if the is Nigeria before because they wanted to privatize this privatize it. it's like a calling dog name just because you want to kill it mm. that is just it but but the model in most developing and even developed countries where electricity where the electricity sector works and works at its best is that it's usually partially privatized you know it's a model that has worked and is and is in line with global best practices so where were the misgivings that you had that or that the staff had against privatization mm, you know the, 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 there's no how a staff can talk as at that time mm. the, you can only talk through the union mm. and you know we are looking at it from another, from uh, another way and the union is looking at it from another way too but you know the junior were against privatizing the industry mm. you because it will not work for them they they thought it will not work for them and it is not good for nigerian mm. but you know an average nigerian believe that if it is being privatized things will work better mm. the, in fact, the government then, uh, the led uh, administration, then convinced us that if the power sector is being privatized, uh, uh, the energy sector will improve. 
But see. But, but are, you, are you trying to say that privatization was not the way to go? Mm, well, I would prefer commercialization. Than what do you mean by commercialization? A situation where people will be at the hands of and um, the private investor will be at the hands of Safir, commercializing their products, managing the industry. Because the, it, it is not it's a, it is not the power sector that is having problem. Mm -hmm. It is the management of the power, the power sector. sector. Mm -hmm. So if you are now thinking of okay, what do you think we can do to stop all this thing that is happening here? You get the best hands. They may not be from Nigeria, they may be Nigerian, they may, they may not be Nigerian mm. to manage it. Mm. This is what we want. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Government will roll out their wants and we'll, there is no how we will not get some people that are ready to do it. So it brings us back to the point that for that sector to work, we need private hands, we need the private sector to, you know, be involved in management. In management. But you know, uh, what they have done now is total sales okay you understand it's, not, it's, it's still partial uh, government is holding 40 percent of it mm -hmm. but it is not feasible i remember that you mentioned something just before we came on set you mentioned how privatization is good you know and important i, I, I would like you to clarify what you mean by that yeah privatization is good mm. if it is well done okay privatization of power sector was not well done okay it leaves a lot of hidden agenda. Mm. Before then, even during uh, President Lucien Ambassador regime, he granted a lot of independent power plant licenses to individuals. Mm. Go and get a land, do a power plant, generate it, sell it to Nepal to transfer to transfer to, meet to people. But none of them, you can you will you, you, you never see any of them having a plant. All they were after is to buy Nepal. So they, 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 they call it so many names. So the privatization was not properly done? It was not properly done. As if it were properly done, private, uh, you know, why, why won't, why did all those people that were grant, uh, uh, granted license, why did they not open up for business? Mm. Why did they want already made soup? You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, which means all they have been clamoring for is for them to have the industry and which they've gotten. Mm -hmm. And nothing to show for it. I do get that. But our conversation has largely been around distribution, you know, of yes. electricity. Okay. Now, the National Electricity Supply Industry has three arms. That's the transmission the, company, the, the Genco's, the rating companies, and, and then the Disco's. Discos. Now, it appears that for the Jenkos, things have improved a bit in terms of generation of electricity. Distribution just seems to be the, you know, be the problem. And the Jenkos was one of the hams that were that was fully privatized. You know, what is the where is the missing link? What, what are the Jenkos getting right that discos are yet to get well, right? Well, you know, uh, in the in Nigeria electricity supply industry, okay. they have three valuations: mm -hmm. the Jenko, the Francisco. And the discourse. Where in the recent time, I was told that the generation is over 5,000 plus now. But we need more than that in Nigeria. But with that, the transmission company cannot even win the entire 5,000. Because the equipment they are having is still an old equipment that cannot win the entire 5,000. Mm. I don't know whether you know, mm. that cannot evacuate the entire 5,000. To the distribution because they don't have the equipment to evacuate it whatever they're having today is still that old transmission line okay if paraventure they even evacuate it the disco doesn't have the capacity to take it and you you, you realize that it's still this trans school and then also the disco that are partially handled by governments because for the discos the government has 40 percent then for Even the Jenkos too. For, 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 for the transmission companies, it's government is government. still in charge of infrastructure yes. and the technical aspect. So don't you think that if they had involved private sector in those aspects, they would have been able to manage it a little better? Ah, <laughs> we, have done, we, have, we have done one, we have not been able to see success. 
So you want to kill the whole economy. One day, one man will just say, okay, I'm tired of you. Okay, let us off the whole life for the whole nation. So, that is to say, we don't have government in here. Now, that brings me to IPPs. IPPs have been working for some communities in Lagos. Yes, and they are generating electricity for them. Yeah. It seems to be working. Uh, that is embedded power generation. Yeah, they are IPPs. Yes. If that should be the case, definitely that which means that the area is not within the I mean within the control of a national grid. Okay. You understand? Maybe an estate that has nothing that can, that that is connected with any disco, I have you can walk very well. Mm -hmm. You start generating and be giving it. Half, there's one industrial estate in some water that one IDP is controlled. They have nights 24 hours. Okay. You shut down on Sunday in the morning, do the turnaround maintenance, and in the evening on Sunday, they come back to night every day. So I have a friend that moved his company from where it was before. To that side because of regular power supply i know that a, a couple of federal um schools for example the other family university we are even recently considering you know moving from the national grid to generating their own electricity as against federal government and then also with the argument of those ipps that's to say that um the private sector you know if properly managed, if properly handled, if the transmission is properly handled, can better, can better electricity in Nigeria? Well, in, like what you have just mentioned, you know, I was involved in this area where you used of okay. I read it over the news and I come even with the people that were there to discuss about the matter. But it's a very shameful thing for OAU to still depend on national grid. I don't even expect any university, any federal, big federal university in Nigeria to still depend on national grid. They ought to have gone on their own IPP, even before now. Hmm. So can we say that IPPs is the future or are the future of the electricity sector in Nigeria? Of course, yes. Because by giving, now, by, by giving out energy to some set of people, mm -hmm. you have relieved them from the national grid. Mm -hmm. And the national grid too, I mean, they too, uh, the, the energy will be enough for others to use. Do you understand? But what we are having now is that the energy that is not enough, and people still want to take out of it. Mm. A lot of communities want to collect, and the energy is not there. Mm. Just like that. So, if all Nigerian universities can generate their own electricity within their own domain, come up with engineers that has the experience on all this, they are not from, they are not, they are not from heaven now. So that, that is to say, this power generating stuff of a thing will be part of the project that an electrical student will do. Mm. So he might have known this thing even before leaving university. So he might have known what to do after graduating. So we've agreed that privatization is not particularly the problem. It's how it was done as at the time that it was privatized. Yes. You know, there was a consensus that it was hastily done and not properly, docu the documentation was not properly done and also research was not properly carried it out. Was hastily done, it was carried you out. know, they have the reason for doing, for carrying it out hastily okay. as a day. It is the government of then where we can ask this question. And they have a lot of clause clauses mm. mm. in the agreement signed by the disco and the government so that makes it not to even work better okay look at what is happening now we are having the nigeria that's really looking commission that is that cannot that is too less put up before we come to the nerc i would like us to talk a little about how the privatization should have been done how privatization of electricity should be let done me, let, me, let, me, let, let me ask you a question okay you want to sell a car Mm. You must put it in good condition. Mm -hmm. So everything must be in good condition mm. before it could be privatized. Mm. Not to give the new owner weak infrastructures. Yeah. So all these things were not done. You, I, you know, I was discussing about something when we were comparing like Nigeria with Ghana. Mm. There are some agencies of government that have even failed from insertion mm. before privatization. If all those things have been on ground, definitely you will know. Okay. Oh, Maybe as we are, maybe we are two here now, mm -hmm. and we are having 
four loaves of bread. Mm. And this person need to eat it two to yeah. Okay, at the end of the day, you now have about six visitors. Wait till I have about ten visitors. How do we share four loaves of bread? So it becomes another thing. See that we don't eat at all. Oh. Or we just take <laughs> control more. That is just it. Yeah. So that is what is happening. Since that agency failed, definitely there is no how you would not like to have own your own house. Mm. You understand? If you then and you must put electricity. So it brings us back to an enabling business environment. Yes, exactly. Mm. So all those two were not and let me be sincere with you. Oh God. I, if they are government, if they are doing something, we should be planning for future. There was no plan for future expansion. Mm. That is what is causing causing problem for us in that sector today. If they had been planned for future expansion, grown up towns and cities, you understand, mm. we will not be where we are today. There was no plan for future expansion. And if you had if, Pregnancy is good, yeah, but it was not well done. And how can it be well done without all this in, in place? You need to put a lot of things in place. So, so, so it feels like government and the private sector needs to come down, come back to the boardroom. Of course, the, the round invite table everybody, all, all, all stakeholders in the necessity center. Let us call, let us discuss which way forward, if not including the state governments, because they have bulk of the blame. I have, we ask, I put your arms, you are going to ask me why. <laughs> because they have the town planning development authority mm. that are, that, that has trained Nigerians okay. on planning the town and develop it. Mm. Only, only what they are after is the assessment fee, but money, 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 money. Mm. And this money are meant to provide all this thing before you can think of, because they need to give us good road, as, and that is access road, electricity, water and telephone uh, in fact thank god telephone is not even more there <laughs> but all the, the, the many three uh, the, the, those remaining three supposed to be in place when they are in place it is there we will not think okay oh, we are having a new town people should come and buy land that is what all these uh, private uh, uh, property developers are doing now Call, I, will, I will not mention them because yes. they are not uh, they don't even contact me for advertisement <laughs> so that is what they are doing they will just buy land Create access road, put electricity where it's supposed to be, police station where it's supposed to be, mosque where it's supposed to be, church where it's supposed to be, everything. So you, that won't be anything like landlocked thing. You know, it's not surprised that people say that um, the strength of any economy, you know, of any society, somehow still rests. It, it rests on the shoulder of the private sector, because even these property developers you're talking about, they are private investors. Of course, yes. Government need to even do this thing before they are. It is the failure of the government that helps them to, I mean, to grow. If the state government or whatever government that is concerned can do all those things, they will get more money mm. into their house. Mm. You understand? Whoever that is buying land will know that. We know that electricity has been sorted. You only need to liaise with government to put all other things. If only they are collecting yeah. 100000 before they can make it three fifty. It makes it a win-win situation. Of course, yes. Government will have more money to yeah. their house. And... There is no way that has been well structured that they won't be able to monitor. That business will not even thrive. They will monitor the place. Mark, you don't need to go to because you want to buy clothes. You, know, you must go to buy it. No, 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 no. Since there is already structured market, structured whatever within your way, so all these people will be attracted. Okay, so let's not move the conversation too much away from electricity sector yeah. you mentioned clauses uh, and um, agreements that you're not favorable at the time that it was signed that brings me to the multi-year tariff order you know where it was expected that every year there will be a minor increment in electricity tariff then every five years there will be a major increment it was also to help the discourse so to speak to generate revenue well, what we've seen recently is that, according to data that I saw, for f since it was privatized, there have been no increments. It was only recently that they, they started increasing, you know, it's a, it's a, slamming this thing with, a, a with serious increments. This is lie. Okay. They have been increasing since, since 2013. Wow. Okay. Every year, every January, there have been always hmm. increments. I know that one. 
I'm a less so, 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 so what do you what do you think about the about the that particular clause? How should it have been? Is it is it favorable for the consumers? It's not. As against it's not. Uh, let me let me just come out to tell you this. You know when they are talking about uh, a tariff increase last year, mm -hmm. all Nigeria went against it. Yes, yeah, even the the has it is a yes. And it is the name that they call it. They have been shooting us too many. You talk about cost reflective tariff, you now talk about surface reflective tariff. You have they have succeeded in dichotomized Nigeria. Mm. And let me listen to you. Me and you, if we go to the station, you are riding Rose Wagon, I'm riding Okada. Then once Okada should buy it for that one party. We are all going to buy it at one yeah. sixty two. There shouldn't be any reason for segregating us. Mm. And all the segregation we are talking about is based on lie. It's based on lie. You are telling us that somebody is going to use an exit for an average of 20 hours. Who, 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 who in Nigeria can use it? Those are my PPs. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. no. Uh, they, are not, they are not part of the discourse. Sure. They are different. Okay. They are enjoying what they are paying for. Mm. But we are paying for what we do not enjoy. The reverse is our case. You understand? So, they are not being feared. The discourse are not being feared. That is why people were revolting against a tariff increase. If they have been feared, it's probably a different thing. Okay, community will get money to buy nearly all what they need as electrical equipment. I've seen a community where they have electricity community chairman has everything. In, in fact, he has to have that unit in his stock. Should there be any problem, we are going to take from you. <laughs> you understand? And your, your officials will come and do the replacement and still collect money. Hmm. You will still have the community to write a letter that they donated it to you. Hmm. Ah, my sister, God will judge. <laughs> you understand? Donating word for word. Are you not making money out of it? Are you not collecting money? They are collecting revenue. No disco has anything in their story game. Since after privatization, not they don't buy. The only thing they buy now is meter. <laughs> and even the meter is not even enough for Nigeria. The only thing they buy is what they can use to collect money. Money, money, money. Not service, service, service. So, now, we've been able to x ray a couple of challenges with the sector and also the way the privatization was done, uh, particularly the massive fraud in the electricity sector. What would you say uh, the things we need to plug this leakage is? What's the, what's the way forward? You said before we can't even think of that. When you are talking about leakages, you are diaries. I will not say that there is no leakages. But you as a producer, if you produce where, you sell where, and you collect where. Do you understand? It is true, Nigeria, you know, uh, we have some Yoruba, we call them colorosi, some people that are not ready to do this, if they are not ready to pay. Yeah, it is not even only in Nigeria, it is it's all over the world. Okay. Uh, but there are some people that need, there are some people that can pay, but they need value for that. their pay. money. Is, is, there, is there any value for the money? Those are the questions we need to ask. You see, before we can talk about uh, about liquidity or not, there should be value so for money. money. You, you know, that was why I was going. I was asking. You know, when we speak about the way forward, and I also mentioned how should privatization have been done, and then going forward, how do we fix what has been broken? We need to call everybody to run the meeting, the discourse, the consumers, the stakeholders. And the government we will discuss the way forward. We are the user of this electricity. Who are the government? Are, are, are we not the government? <laughs> we will call ourselves together, think of how we can move the country forward. Because without our sector, a lot of industry have packed out of Nigeria now. Yeah. Without fixing this power sector, there is no how we can have good economy. Okay. Okay. Just before we round up on the program this month, you mentioned the need to scrap the National Electricity Regulatory Commission. Yeah. Why? They have not been supportive. And they have not been they have not been awake to their responsibilities. 
they have been sleeping long ago. Most of this crop of commissioners. Mm. Yeah, they have not been doing anything. On, on, they only help the discourse to shit Nigeria. The only time you will see them talking is when they are trying to increase salary and will increase tariff. They deny tariff increase twice. The first one that was done in last year, they denied that it was. Yeah, to You know, and the, this one too. They were misusing English increment adjustment. <laughs> Can you imagine a government agency that's supposed to be for the people, the regulator? But I won't blame. I won't blame them because they won't uh, uh, bite the finger that feed them. It is out of the percentage. Uh, they, take, they take percentage out of what the discos are collecting monthly. Yeah, it is disco that is funding them. So I just to see any ROC is an extension of the disco. So, so that means NEC is not living up to its responsibilities. Uh, you see, that one is a very small word. I would I, please let me use another English. <laughs> they are busy doing nothing. Mm. That is just it. That, that is just it. What they are after is to increase tariff for the next group, for the disco to increase revenue so that they too they can take okay. their own. So okay, they mentioned they started with what do, apart from series of orders, the one that affects me and you directly, that's what I'm, I'm going to talk about. They start to talk about Capney, Met, uh, Metrain, then it failed. The Zulu's going to fail. Map failed. This NNNP2, they should go and look at the data and see. They talk about capping of an estimated bill last year. The next, the disco refused to follow, and they are nothing. After the investigation, nothing will be done. Mm -hmm. So my takeaway from our conversation so far is that most of this issues is still largely a failure of government. Of course. And if privatization is properly done and regulatory commission is in place, then we'll begin to have a different conversation about the electricity sector yeah. in Nigeria. Thank you so much, Mr. Shedrak at Kimbo Donche. It's been quite an engaging and revealing conversation about ele the electricity sector in, of Nigeria on this month's edition of Development Issues. Do join us next month for yet another exciting edition. My name is Zainab. Sorry.